Hi, um, I'm Dhawal, Dhawal Vyas. As people know me, my username is DS Vyas on Wikipedia. I originally come from Ahmedabad, Gujarat, uh, but now I live in UK. I live in town called Crawley, just on the border of London, and work in central London. I work for Citigroup, the banking corporation, in operations, not IT. Okay. And uh, I mainly represent Gujarati Wiki. When I say Gujarati Wiki, Gujarati Wikipedia and Gujarati Wiki source mainly because those are the two projects where I am admin, SISOP. I also contribute occasionally on Wikimedia Commons and Gujarati Wiktionary also or here and there then sometimes on Hindi Wikipedia or English Wikipedia but very minor edits. Uh, I, what I enjoy most about Wikipedia is the community itself, where like in my initial days I used to feel like no need to go to Facebook because the Wikipedia stock page was such a place where everyone used to talk to each other and it was a friendly community. I have got more friends through Wikipedia than through Facebook or any other social media. So, Wikipedia is replaced by media. And uh, I joined, I joined, or I started wiki, contributing to Wikipedia, editing articles on Wikipedia in nearly 2000, end of 2007, so let's say 2008, in these last six years, seven years, I, I don't know, like, how can I quantify what I have gained, uh, but when I look back, first thing is the knowledge, what I have gained, um, every time I contribute, obviously, you read something as well, so before I start writing, I st read, and many new topics I have learned. As I said initially, I have gained so many friends. Few are here anyways. As I live far in London, I don't get to meet people, don't talk to others as well. But the way we communicate on Wiki is such a great thing where you don't miss each other. And you know like you always known each other. Sometimes it happens that we see them for the first time. And you wonder that, is it the person I'm seeing for the first time or I've always known? So that is how the close communities. We do sometimes argue, but then that's arguments like we have in the French. Um, yep. Any funny incidents or milestones you had in the uh, We have, like, we had some, as I said, arguments we have. I had, uh, I have a friend of mine on Wiki who I got as a friend from Wiki. When he joined initially, uh, I deleted some of his articles because uh, they weren't like, we have few policies and these articles didn't meet any of those policies. So, he went on a rampage with me, we had a big fight, I had to block him for a while and then he approached me offline, he started talking and then, now he's the best friend, then he admitted that he had like what I was or what the community was saying was all right and he now contributes and contributes well within the wiki's policy guidelines better than anybody else does. So this is how like if, if, you, if people are really willing to contribute they learn and then they do like when I say policy probably if you are watching this video and you are a newbie or you haven't ever done anything on Wikipedia don't be scared we don't have much high policies it's just basic few rules. Uh, where you don't encourage anybody's copyrights, etc., and then you are fine. We will welcome you all. So, any other messages you have for the future Wikimedians? I'll say just come. Like, if you have not tried Wikipedia, try it. If you have tried Wikipedia, do it more and more. And if you are a seasoned Wikimedian, we sometimes boil up. Uh, sometimes we get fed up with people, issues, discussions. Keep calm and carry on is the, the, the slogan our British uh, monarch has given. Um, keep calm and carry on. So, yeah, I'll say best message, keep calm and carry on. Never give up contributing to Wikipedia. So, one, one interesting thing was, um, I in the UK, I am associated with one organization, literary organization. People joined that. Once they approached me saying, oh, you contribute to, Wiki you, you look after Wikipedia. I said, no, I contribute to Wikipedia. Okay, yeah, we have a problem. Our page on Wikipedia says some very old content uh, and some things which are not true about the organization. 
uh, can you please collect it? I said, yeah, why not? And then they came up with a short write-up saying this is the thing that uh, is right as a, the fact. Like it was just in line on what it was written on Wikipedia, but they just collected a uh, few bits here and there. And I said, uh, why don't you do that? No, no, no. We can, how how can we do? I said, yeah, you can do. If you don't, if you are not representing the organization, then it's not a conflict of interest or anything. So you can go and do and then they were really hesitant. First time when they learned that they could do, they were like pleasantly happy but then they were confused that would that be appropriate for them to do. And I really encouraged them, one of them signed in and collected that page and I, we have monthly meetings. So now every time I go and they make sure that they have checked the page before I go in the meeting and they say, you know, that content is still there. I'm so proud, like I did something to con Wikipedia and the correct content is now there. So this is, and when they say that to me, I feel so much happy that, okay, good, there is at least someone out there who did something, tries to remember, probably they never did anything since then, but I always encourage them to do more and more. So like anyone can do anything is this a democratic way of Wikipedia. Some people approach me who are based like who are linked with an organization, nothing to do personally with the organization, but they fascinate about the organization and then they found that page on Wikipedia about their organization had some old content and some incorrect facts about it. So they came with a write-up, small write-up and said, can you please collect this on Wikipedia? And I said, why don't you collect it? And they were like amazed to know that they could even do and uh, willing, like they wanted to do, but then they weren't really sure whether they should do. Um, it took a while, I asked them two, three times and then one of them created a username, contributed to that and collected the content. Since then now every time they meet me, they check that page and then say, you know, that content is still there. What we did is still there, it exists. So they, every time they talk to me, they feel so proud and when I hear them, I feel happy that at least there is someone who did something to Wikipedia, is today also happy and would encourage few more people to go and do the same thing. So, like that feeling of joy when people share their such experiences is a big thing.